Oh, <laughs> Camping is peaceful, but sometimes the peace is ruined by bears that can literally eat up these people alive. Yeah, Jason, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's coming. Okay, drive, 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 drive. Don't believe me? Well, come along and I will show you. Number one. Hello, bear. Camping alone in the wilderness can go wrong sometimes. As he settles into his campsite, a bear unexpectedly appears, seemingly curious about the new visitor. The man's fast breathing clearly shows his fear and anxiety. However, as soon as he makes some noise, the bear, startled, retreats back into the forest. Good for him. Number two, cycling. While cycling through the woods with his GoPro camera rolling, this guy captured a crazy adventure. A huge bear suddenly appeared and tried to attack him. Fear kicked in and he pedaled like never before, racing away from the grizzly. Just when it seemed the bear might catch up, some hunters nearby heard the commotion. With a few well-aimed shots, they scared the bear away. So, what started as a scary moment turned into an exciting escape story. Number three, bear disturbing the picnic. Well, unless you live under a rock, you must have seen this video. This family was having a good time eating and chatting when a bear came by. Remember when I mentioned about bears getting attracted by the smell of food? Yes, so that is exactly what happened here. The mother remained calm and was able to get away with the situation without any injury. Number four, twist. On October 5th, something crazy changed Timothy Treadwell's usual routine. Normally, by late September, he would have left Katmai as the bears he knew started hibernating. However, in 2003, he decided to stay longer, and no one knows why. Uh, some think he wanted to protect the bears from poachers, while others believe he was curious about the more aggressive, unfamiliar bears coming down from the mountains for pre-winter food. This decision, driven by his deep passion and curiosity, led to a tragic encounter that resulted in his death, forever changing the story of his unique bond with these incredible creatures. Number five, bear spray to rescue. While out in the wild trying to take some photos, a photographer encountered a bear. While most people would have run away in such a situation, the photographer was prepared. He stood calmly and warded off the bear using bear spray. Number six, visitors video. The RV was parked in the dark forest. Inside, the campers were unaware of the danger outside. A bunch of bears had come drawn by the smell of food, possibly. Just as I told you guys, people don't realize that the smell of food does attract bears. But these guys were lucky as, after some time finally, the bears moved on. Number seven, family time. While camping in their motorhome in Rexburg, Idaho, a family had a scare when a bear wandered by. They were frightened as the bear came too close, but thankfully, no damage was done. Number eight, bear attack. Caleb Jacques, a grizzly bear safari guide in Alaska, recounts an intense encounter in this video. While guiding a group observing a sow with spring cubs from a safe distance, a sub-adult bear approached from behind, walking up the creek bed. Caleb had loaned his bear spray to an apprentice guide, leaving him without this crucial deterrent. Caleb relied on his voice and body as deterrents. Recognizing the bear's curious behavior, likely due to it being a young bear encountering humans for the first time in an incredibly remote location, Caleb knew the first charge was likely a bluff based on his extensive experience. Despite the lack of bear spray, Caleb was prepared for the worst case scenario. He instructed the group to get behind him and raise their arms, a standard procedure to discourage a real charge. He positioned himself in front, ready to face the risk head on. Caleb refrained from firing his point 44 SW for two reasons, uncertainty about the bear's reaction and the need to conserve bullets in case the bear attacked. In the video, he carries an S and W model 2944 mag with 305 gear R HSM bear loads, producing 10 75 foot pounds of energy. Number nine, bear attacks truck. This wild video from Japan shows a truck driving down an unpaved road when suddenly a bear charges into its path and takes several swipes at it. You can see the damage to the windshield wiper. Talk about a close encounter. The driver quickly sped off and fortunately, no one was hurt. 
It's like something straight out of a movie. That bear definitely made an impression. Number 10, Polar Bear in Action. In this video, you can see the BBC crew trying to capture footage of a polar bear, but things got a bit too close for comfort. These guys waited until the bear was just 10 meters away before they started to back off. Talk about dedication. BBC really means business. At least they got some good shots. I mean, not everyone gets to do that. Number 11, food. Well, humans make the same mistake of keeping the food out in the open. In the video, a black bear explores different campsites, searching for food and coolers. It doesn't seem scared of people or their belongings at all, but I bet these people would have been scared for their lives. Number 12, Bear Mom. As Jeffrey Glasner hiked through a national park in Alaska, a mother grizzly bear and her two curious cubs decided to follow along. Instead of getting scared like most people would, Glasner stayed calm and recorded the whole crazy encounter on his cell phone. Having these walking beside him could have made anyone nervous, but Glasner remained steady. Although he would steer clear of their ways in the future, what would you do if you were in such a situation? For me, I would have panicked like crazy. Number 13, Mountain. A rock climber had an adrenaline pumping encounter while descending Mount Futago in Chichibu, Japan. As he filmed his descent, a bear unexpectedly lunged at him from above. With a surprised yell, the climber quickly reacted, fighting off the bear with punches and kicks in a frantic flurry of moves. After a tense struggle, the climber finally pulled away from the persistent bear, slowly backing away to safety. Number 14. Seven-year-old versus a bear. Okay, so imagine you're just seven years old and you were there alone in front of a bear. This seven-year-old Huxley encountered a black bear while riding his scooter near his home in Canada. The bear approached him in broad daylight, but Huxley stayed calm, staring the bear down until it stopped. Out of nowhere, a neighbor came by who helped the poor kid by scaring the bear away with raised arms from behind a parked car. I mean, imagine if the boy did not have help. I can't imagine how that must have ended for the boy and his family. But once again, he's got a story to tell his kids. Number 15. Burly Alive Kenny Saint found himself in a crazy situation when a bear attacked him, biting down on his head. Despite suffering serious injuries like puncture wounds to his scalp, a broken shoulder blade, and deep cuts on his leg, he miraculously survived. Although Kenny was knowledgeable about bear safety, he was caught off guard when the bear charged at him during a hike in Alaska. Reflecting on the moment, he described it as feeling like he was staring the devil right in the face. Despite the crazy nature of the attack, Kenny managed to fend off the bear and prevent further harm to himself. Recounting the experience, he expressed his fear that he might not make it through. His wife witnessed the frightening incident when the bear attacked him. After a challenging struggle, Kenny survived when the bear abruptly stopped its attack. It wasn't my time to die, he said, expressing his disbelief at escaping the dangerous encounter. Despite being injured and bleeding, Kenny received assistance from his wife, who is a nurse and their friends, until medical help arrived. Number 16, snow attack. These Russians had a crazy encounter with a bear, and their survival is nothing short of miraculous. The bear's sudden aggression caught them off guard, and they faced a life-threatening situation. Fortunately, through quick thinking and perhaps sheer luck, they managed to escape the bear's clutches. Number 17. Bear in the store. Now, this one isn't exactly in the wild, but what happens when wilderness enters the city? Paul High was on the graveyard shift when he came across a 500-pound black bear. While heading to change the outside trash, the bear tried to enter the store and lunged at him. Despite his experience chasing bears out of the parking lot, this was the first time one made it inside. Paul quickly realized he was in over his head and decided to let the bear have whatever it wanted. The bear grabbed a bag of Snickers and left, much to Paul's relief. But it's a bit funny, a bear with a Snickers bar. On another night, Paul's co-worker Dave had his own run-in with the same bear. This time, the bear settled in and ate an entire box of three musketeers right on the floor. 
Dave had a tougher time getting the bear out and eventually called for backup. When authorities arrived, the bear finally left, but not before grabbing another snack for the road. Number 18. Blissful Night. Instead of spending money on a motel, he chose to camp near Remote Highway 101 west of Chaplow to rest during a long drive. As he settled down, a bear circled his tent for more than an hour, keeping him nervous all night. This is why I always use earplugs. If I can't hear animals outside, then they're not really there. But this guy stayed alert until morning, when the bear finally left. Packing up, he resumed his journey with a deeper appreciation for the wild outdoors. Number 19. Yellowstone Park. This video shows a park ranger in Yellowstone using bear spray on a bear with two cubs. The ranger did a great job keeping everyone safe, both the bear family and the visitors. Talk about a crazy situation. Number 20. Whoops. In a crazy and, I would say, scary incident deep in the forests of Russia's Far East, a man filmed himself approaching and kicking a young brown bear. The reckless individual recorded his encounter with the bear through woodland in Kamchatka. The man startled the bear with his actions, which made the animal react swiftly and aggressively. The bear roared angrily and attacked the man, biting his hand. And well, it must have been a crazy thing to encounter. Number 21. Killed. Timothy Treadwell loved bears and spent years getting close to them in Alaska's Katmai National Park. But in October 2003, things went terribly wrong. I mean, you can't really trust bears, can you? Timothy and his girlfriend Amy were camping when grizzly bears attacked them. The pilot who was supposed to pick them up found only their remains being eaten by bears. Timothy's passion for bears was well known, but he often ignored safety rules. He stayed too long in bear areas and didn't carry bear spray, a protective spray that could have saved him. Number 22. Stroll. This bear walked around the area for an entire hour, caught on the game cameras. It moved slowly, exploring the surroundings at its own pace. The camera's dark setting made it stand out. After that hour, the bear wasn't seen on the cameras again for two and a half days. Number 23. Fear. Fatal bear attack. Censor the insensitive part. In the video, it's clear that the bear severely injured the man, leading to his death from the wounds. The incident is tragically real showing the bear attacking and then the man bleeding to death despite walking away from the initial encounter. The man who struck the bear with a stick has been working as a bear trainer for many years. This incident makes me question a few things. Why not simply leave wild animals alone? Despite our desire to understand and tame them, wild animals, especially powerful ones like bears, can be unpredictable and dangerous. So it's best not to get too close. Number 24. To run or not to run. In a video from Glacier National Park, hikers can be heard screaming don't run as they encounter a grizzly bear. It's like a real-life game of tag but with a furry 800 pound it. The footage captures the tense moments when the bear joins their hike, turning what was probably a peaceful hike into a scary adventure. Number 25. Right back at you. As you guys can see in the video, this guy was stalking a black bear and managed to get within 30 yards. He made a good shot hitting the bear, but instead of running away, the bear spun around and charged at him at full speed. Number 26. Hiking. As you can see in this video, the girl probably decided to go for a hike. While she was enjoying her hike, a bear suddenly appeared. It must have been a surprising and scary moment for her. But what would you guys do if you found yourself in this situation? Would you stay calm and try to slowly back away? Or maybe try to make yourself look big and loud to scare the bear off? Share your thoughts on how you'd handle a bear encounter like this. Number 27. Wild One. In a crazy encounter with nature, some people on the water came face to face with a grizzly bear. In Squamish, a kayaker leading a group of river rafters on the Ilaha River had a close call with a young grizzly bear on Thursday. The bear, swimming quickly, showed up on the right side of the screen in footage taken by a guide's GoPro camera. The guide said the video made it look like the bear was farther away than it actually was. Locals and tourists in Squamish reacted to the video, saying that seeing wildlife is part of living there. While black bears are common and less scary, 
grizzly bears are more dangerous. Some people were cheering for the kayaker to get away safely. Later, it was found that the bear was probably guarding a dead elk on the other side of the river and wasn't really after the kayaker. Number 28, hiking danger. A woman on the Mount Wilson Trail came face to face with a California black bear. She was on her usual three mile trail when she saw some hikers coming down in a panic, warning about an animal up ahead. Despite their warnings, she decided to continue her hike. Many people were on the trail that day, and she noticed some hikers above her too. The bear was between her and the other hikers when she saw it. She realized she couldn't outrun the bear or go off the trail, so she decided to let the bear pass. She took out her phone and recorded as the bear walked by. Victoria hikes the Wilson Trail several times a week, and this was her first time encountering a bear there. Number 29, the first one. Okay, so this video again shows how important it is to have a bear spray handy when you are dealing with bears or just camping out in the wild. It can save you from spending thousands of dollars on plastic surgery or sepanding the rest of your life walking with a walking stick. Number 30, climb a bear. This video will make your heart leap out of your chest. Watch as a hunter faces off with a bear racing up a tree for a tense confrontation. With nerves of steel, he stands his ground until the bear eventually retreats into the forest. Number 31, group encounter. This video will make you think twice before taking a hike. This group was probably out there enjoying nature when a bear came out of nowhere. And yes, these people were acting chill and recording the bear until they realized they are a bit too close. But thankfully, no one got hurt. But guys, if you see a bear, suppress your inner photographer, your first prize priority should be your life and not what you're going to post next on your feed. Number 32, standoff. In the video, an individual is recording a moment of intense proximity with a bear. The bear is dangerously close and the tension is crazy. As the bear approaches, you can sense that the person recording experiences a sense of dissociation from reality. You know how you mess up really bad and for a few seconds you just can't snap back to reality? This disassociation involves feeling detached from reality, almost as if they are observing the scene from a distance rather than actively participating in it. In this case, the bear's proximity triggered this response, causing the individual to momentarily feel disconnected from their surroundings and the gravity of the danger they were in. Number 33. Hello, neighbor. Imagine you have saved up for months to go and sit at a location like this. As soon as you arrive and start to enjoy, a bear comes and sits right across. If I was in the same situation, I would literally pass out from fear. Number 34. Test. In this video, this guy decides to test Brody, a bear known for his power, smarts, and predatory instincts. Mike enters a cage to observe how Brody might try to reach him, offering a first-hand view of a bear attack. They establish a code phrase for emergencies before Mike expresses nervousness despite the cage's sturdy build. Mike notes Brody's impressive abilities, recalling how he easily manipulates objects weighing hundreds of pounds. Brody's curiosity is piqued by Mike's presence in the cage, and despite its strength, Brody attempts to breach it with his powerful claws. Would you do something like this? Number 35, attack. In late July of 2008, a grizzly bear surprised a fishing group in the Alaskan wilderness by charging at them. They initially felt safe together, thinking that with all of us here, he won't attack. But the bear had other plans. Which one of you goes first? One by one or all together? It doesn't matter to me, it growled, showing it was ready to attack at any time. Number 36, tourists attacked. These tourists were enjoying a nice hike when a grizzly bear decided to say hi. But it turns out, 
It wasn't some ordinary hello, but the bear was in fact mad about something. Well, they are lucky they got out of there alive. Number 37, chased. These people were prepared to fight this massive bear off with a stick and bear spray. But the bear wasn't budging at first. It continued to come after them. I hope they didn't get attacked by it. Number 38, last warning. This is another BBC encounter with a bear, but this big beast decided to give the man a last warning. I mean, mama bears are actually more aggressive than other bears, so it makes sense. And that's it for today. Until next time, happy camping and watch out for those bears.